Every change in technology presents a chance to further human progress, enhance scientific understanding, and enhance lives. Google created Gemini to help with the greatest transformation of our lives, the one that artificial intelligence will bring about. What is Gemini AI? Fundamentally, Gemini AI encompasses a next-generation AI architecture that is posed to replace Google's current AI model, Palm 2. This model currently underpins a range of Google's AI services, such as the widely used Duet AI in workspace apps and the popular Bar chatbot. With the objective of outperforming ChatGPT4, Google is investing significant resources into developing Gemini AI as a superior alternative. Now, let's explore some potential applications of Gemini AI. Number 1. Is strategic Decision Support The integration could enable Gemini AI to assist users in making strategic decisions in complex domains. For example, it could provide insights and recommendations in financial investment, business planning or game strategy by leveraging reinforcement learning techniques to analyze various scenarios and optimize decision-making. Number 2. is Dynamic Context Understanding AlphaGo excelled in understanding and leveraging the context of a Go game to make strategic moves. By integrating this capability, Gemini AI could better understand and utilize contextual information during conversations allowing for more coherent and context-aware responses. Number 3. is Self-Improvement Through Self-Play while we know AlphaGo achieved remarkable performance by playing against itself and continuously improving. So, Gemini AI could similarly engage in self-play, learning from its own interactions to enhance its conversational abilities and generate more accurate and coherent responses over time. Number 4. is Simulated Environmental Interactions Gemini AI could be integrated with simulated environments to interact with virtual worlds or simulated characters. This would allow Gemini AI to learn from its interactions in these environments, acquiring domain-specific knowledge and improving its ability to generate contextually relevant and realistic responses. Number 5. is Transfer Learning and Generalization AlphaGo demonstrates the ability to transfer its knowledge from gameplay in one domain to another. By incorporating similar transfer learning techniques, Gemini AI could leverage knowledge gained from one conversational domain to improve its performance in another, leading to more adaptable and versatile conversational agents. Number 6. is Dialogue-Based Gaming Gemini AI could also be enhanced to engage in dialogue-based gaming. It could play interactive text-based games with users, dynamically adapting its responses based on the game state and user inputs, providing a challenging and immersive gaming experience. The potential is vast, and our anticipation mounts as we await Gemini's introduction to the world. With its official launch on the horizon, we eagerly look forward to witnessing the capabilities and possibilities that Gemini holds. Is Gemini AI Google's strategic counterplay to ChatGPT? As the competitive landscape of generative AI intensifies, Google is poised to showcase its true capabilities with the launch of Gemini AI. Having learned valuable lessons from the rushed introduction of BARD, Google is determined to ensure a watertight entry into the market. With a generative AI market projected to reach $109.37 billion by 2030, the race for dominance is fueled by soaring investors and customer enthusiasm. With its sights set on revolutionizing the industry, Google is ready to unleash the full potential of Gemini AI and shape the future of text analyzing AI solutions. Also recently, Google's AI department recently designed Tapir. Tapir was designed to efficiently track a particular point of interest in a video stream. So, what exactly is Tapir? Tapper Models algorithm was created by a group of researchers from Google DeepMind, VGG, the Department of Engineering Science, and the University of Oxford. It has two stages, a matching stage and a refinement stage. The Tapper model examines each frame of the video sequence separately during the matching stage in order to identify a good candidate point match for the query point. The goal of this stage is to determine the query point, most likely associated point in each frame. This process is carried out frame by frame to make sure that the Tapper model can track the query point's journey throughout the video. The refining step is used after the matching stage, during which potential point matches are found. In order to increase the accuracy and precision of tracking the query point, the Tapper model updates both the trajectory, 
The path taken by the query point and the query characteristics depend on local correlations. As a result, it takes into consideration the surrounding information in each frame. By combining local correlations, the refining stage increases the model's ability to precisely track the movement of the query point and adapt to changes in the video sequence. The Tapbit benchmark, which is a defined evaluation dataset for video tracking tasks, was utilized by the researchers to access the Tapper model. The outcome demonstrated that the Tapper model outperforms the baseline methods by a large margin. The Tapper model was demonstrated to obtain an approximately 20% absolute improvement in HA compared to other methods on the densely annotated Vildeo segment benchmark. The performance improvement has been quantified using a metric called Average Jackard HA. The model can process numerous frames at once, increasing the effectiveness of tracking jobs. It was created to permit quick parallel inference on lengthy video sequences. The model can be used live, allowing it to analyze and maintain track of points as new video frames are added, the team has said. It has the versatility to handle videos of different size and quality levels because it can track 256 points on a 256 by 256 video at a rate of roughly 40 frames per second and can be enlarged to handle films with better resolution. Users can try Tapper without installing the software thanks to the team's two online Google Collab demos. Users can run the model on their own movies in the first Collab demo, which offers an interactive way to evaluate the model's performance. The second demo demonstrates how to use Tapper online. Additionally, by copying the given code base, users can run Tapper live by tracking points on their own webcams with a contemporary GPU. The science of computer vision heavily relies on object tracking and videos. To extract meaningful insights and enable cutting-edge applications like visual surveillance, autonomous vehicles, augmented reality, human-computer interaction, video editing, special effects and sports analysis, it is crucial to accurately track objects' position, shapes and characteristics over successive frames. Tapir is used for visual observation. For the purpose of tracking and evaluating the movement of things, such as people or cars, in a video sequence, object tracking is frequently employed in surveillance systems. Action recognition anomaly detection and object behavior analysis are made all possible by it. Tapper is also used on unmanned vehicles. Object tracking is essential to autonomous driving systems because it identifies and tracks items like cars, people, and other moving objects in real time. This enables the vehicle to move safely and make decisions. Tapper is also used in artificial reality. In augmented reality applications, where virtual things must be anchored or superimposed on actual objects, it is crucial. In order to create a seamless experience with augmented reality, tracking objects in the video feed enables the alignment of virtual content with the actual world. Tapper is used in editing videos and adding special effects. It is used in post-production and video editing operations. It allows for accurate item segmentation and tracking, which is useful for activities like object replacement, object removal, and applying visual effects to certain objects and videos. Have you heard about DeepMind Technologies Limited and their new LLM AI? DeepMind, the Google-owned research lab, boldly asserts that its upcoming large language model, Gemini AI, will not only rival but potentially outperform OpenAI's creation. Demis Hassibiz, CEO of DeepMind, revealed that the development cost of Gemini AI is estimated to be in the hundreds of millions. This substantial investment showcases Google's unwavering commitment and immense resources dedicated to the AI system. It is this resolute backing that instills confidence in Google, as they believe Gemini AI will surpass the forthcoming GPT-4 model of ChatGPT. In 2016, an artificial intelligence program called AlphaGo from Google's DeepMind AI Lab made history by defeating a champion player of the board game Go. Now, Demis Hassabis, DeepMind's co-founder and CEO, says his engineers are using techniques from AlphaGo to make an AI system dubbed Gemini that will be more capable than that behind OpenAI's ChatGPT. DeepMind's Gemini, which is still in development, is a large language model that works with text and is similar in nature to GPT-4, which powers GPT. They will combine the technology with techniques used in AlphaGo, aiming to give the system new capabilities, such as planning or the ability to solve problems. What are Google's investments in AI? 
Anthropic is not Google's first big-ticket investment in artificial intelligence technologies. In 2014, Google's parent company Alphabet acquired British AI laboratory DeepMind. DeepMind is known for, among other things, developing the AlphaGo program that beat world champion Go player Lee Sedol in 2016. AlphaZero, which was able to defeat seasoned chess programs like Stockfish and AlphaFord, which predicted the shape of nearly all proteins known to science. What do you think about Gemini, Google's multimodal AI? Do you think Google's AI division has more to offer? Do share your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Goodbye!